Okay. So tonight I'm going to talk about uh, wound dealing problem. Uh, so in our lab we work on wound dealing. What is the wound dealing problem? Um, everybody of us has experienced a cut or burn. Okay. What you want to have is to close that wound as fast as possible because you don't want to have any leftover pain. So we have a team of uh, engineers and biologists, and it turns out that biologists have, thank God, they have uh, quite a few tools and uh, um, ways of simulating this uh, wound dealing in the lab. So they basically, to make a long story short, take cells out of a fridge, their skin or epithelial cells, they throw them in a dish, they let them grow, and when they have grown, they, and they believe they're strong, they cut open a wound in there. Then you take the dish, you put it under the microscope, and you check what cells do. And what cells do, it turns out that uh, they're very, very stupid. So they're drunk uh, cells, okay? So if you imagine a cell to be like 10 times smaller than your hair, and you scale it up, I'm that big, okay? I'm a cell. And the wound is more or less as big as this stage. And when you want to close the wound, you have to walk all over the other side. But what happens, cells start walking a little bit right, a little bit left, they go uh, for a hand, and then they come back. So this is very un inefficient uh, uh, process and all of uh, all together it takes almost 24 hours one day to close this wound okay so you sit there with your biologist and you think uh, uh, how can we improve this process and the biologist is there sipping his glass of wine and saying we should uh, use this uh, uh, growth factor that I've read in the paper it stimulates the streptomycin going in the focal adhesion that the substance and you as an engineer you don't understand the hell I'm sorry Okay, and you say, what I have when I have a wound? I place a plaster on top of it and wait for that to heal. But if cells move like drunk, okay, it's uh, again inefficient. So why don't we put a damn railway on top of these cells, so between the, sub the, the, the plaster and the, uh, the cells, so that they are confined and they can only walk in that direction and close it as fast as possible. So we have gone to IBM, where they do electronics on a daily basis, and we've used the same science that they use for electronics to change the plasters that we use for a wound dealing. We have construct, built very fine walls that are as big as the head of the cells, and they drive cells on this line. It turns out that just by this simple strategy, we can have up to two times faster wound healing or wound closure by the cells under there. And that's it. Thank you.